using these way above average products. Sorry, I'm still getting set up here. And it's been life changing. I hate to see we've had quite a few people that signed up for the wellness company that recently uh, canceled. And I hate to see that because it's just amazing stuff. I'm going to have to do some trainings, I think, to explain to people how it works. And I think there's some mis misperceptions about how it works. It's There's just no reason not to be a member of it. It's absolutely phenomenal, just phenomenal products, phenomenal company, Christian company, and we have people canceling. So I've done a poor job of getting to them and explaining to them the benefits of it. It's just, it's rocking our world at the house. We've just had such a good, we just feel better in mind, body, spirit, and we hope more people will join us in the wellness company. Anonymous says, if I do not order new products each month from the wellness company, will I automatically get the same orders for you have to set up a backup order. Um, you have to set up a backup order. Now, Lynn is here. If y'all would like to hear her speak, she might want to speak about it. But that's what's causing some people. Again, this isn't our topic today. Uh, but that's what's causing some people to cancel uh, because you it is a shopping club. And you, to, to get the discounts, the huge discounts, then you must shop. And that allows them to offer fresh product. It allows them to just do an overall better job than 99 out of 100 companies in America. Um, what you get isn't filled with the, the amount of preservatives you see in other products and so they have to have some consistency. And so you have to have a backup order. You only have to get 35 points per month. And to be honest, Sasha and I kind of worried about that when we signed up. But goodness, it's so easy if you've bought into switching out a lot of the unclean ingredients, detergents, personal care items, supplements that you were formerly on. It's just easy. It's just easy, easy to get those points. And you don't miss out on those big discounts and all of the fun. In fact, I think Lynn can correct me, but I think I'm on one of the fastest growing teams in all of Melaleuca. So the wellness company, sorry. So, um, you know, it's just a matter of time before you reap the benefits of being on that, that team that's growing fast. I, I hope more people will before not opting in or opting in and then getting scared and opting out will talk to me because it's going to be nothing but a blessing for you. There's no way for it to be anything but a blessing. And if there's something, you know, where you're not feeling that, reach out to me and we'll have a, you know, a, a loving conversation about uh, my perspective, and then that might change your perspective, and again, it might not. But there you go. Hey, hey, Travis. Hey, Jamie. I just want all you wonderful people to know that if y'all have any questions, y'all please call us because I can give you a call because you know Travis is so busy during the day. I can call you, explain it to you. I can show you some things on the website. Um, so. Y'all don't stay in the dark and just be disappointed, okay? Love y'all. We're here to help y'all no matter, you know, what we have to do. Yeah, thank you, Tammy. And, you know, I think a lot of people, I don't want you to regret from a year, uh, a year from now being on the team because I, I'm just getting started and I'm putting together an August the 1st thing that, again, I say this a lot, but I believe this from the bottom of my heart. It's going to be the best thing I've ever put together. Did any of y'all enjoy the 40-day challenge that we put together, the devotions? Did you enjoy that? Y'all y'all did enjoy it? Because what we're doing August the 1st makes that look like child's play. 
that makes that look like child's play. And we are going to be utilizing, let me get my bride in here. We're going to be utilizing a lot of those clean products. You'll be able to do what I'm putting forth without the clean products because uh, before we get into the topic, let me say some things that would make me feel better. I, I don't, y'all don't owe me a thing, but I hope that you feel, well, he tries to help us. So I, I'll listen to what he has to say. I hope y'all know my heart and it's a lot of extra work for me because I try to take care of everybody. In fact, I believe in what we're doing with the wellness company products and the August the 1st Faithfully Fit launch. I so believe in what we're doing with that. But have y'all ever seen a coach that also comes up with ways to serve? Yes, I'm going to brag. I come up with ways to serve that don't benefit me in case anybody says, well, I'm not doing that. <clears throat> I've always worked my butt off to make sure that nobody has any reasonable excuse. So when I put forth a challenge and I say, I wish you'd do the detox kit to get better results. I wish you would take the peak performance to get better results. Usually that's when I get resistance from somebody. I get that force shield. It comes up and they're like, oh, you're just trying to sell me something. So I always say, you know what? Here you go. Here's a free one for you. Here's a meal plan. Here's rules. You don't have to buy a single thing from me. I will invest in you. I will give to you. You don't have to give anything back to me. And then usually people go, oh, okay, well, I'm going to do that challenge because you're not, you're not, I'm not going to have to put anything into it. And I hope that y'all know my heart. I wouldn't, because it's always more work for me. It, I would not talk about things that work if they don't work. And if we were talking about, uh, if we were talking about something that was as meaningless as what kind of paint is the best paint to put on our wall, I wouldn't make a fuss about it. But y'all, we're talking about life and death. We have been snowed, we have been lulled to sleep with the world's lullaby. We have forgot how powerful we are. We have forgot that our life has the potential to be adventurous, to be healthy, to be wealthy. We forgot about all that. We've been lullabied to sleep. And, oh, it's just losing weight. In fact, they don't want you to lose weight. They, If you look, even in our magazines and everything, they are normalizing obesity. It is being normalized. In fact, if you paid any attention recently, I had no idea I was going to go on a rant, but here I go. Recently, if you paid attention, they're saying that people that work out and work out religiously and take care of their bodies religiously are, are of the alt-right, radical, alt-right, crazy people. Have y'all Did y'all see that on the news? Am I the only one that's seen that? I don't watch the news, so it was something God wanted me to see, and it just came on while I was surfing the channels. And it literally was reported on Fox News, I forget if it was the New York Times or whatever, but they literally started, they want you to be sheep. They want you to be sheep. Listen, one more thing. Do you know how you get rich in this world? I'm going to tell you if you don't know. Not like, we might have a millionaire here listening today. That ain't rich. I'm not talking about you. Lynn, she might get mad at me for saying this, that woman's worked her butt off and uh, she's helped a lot of people with the wellness company and she's made more in a month than most people make in a year because she's helping people. That ain't rich. You know how you get filthy, stinking rich? Get ready, I'm going to tell you. Filthy, stinking rich. 
Y'all want to know? Come on, if you lie about that, you'll lie about other things too. Let me tell you, in this world, in this world, here's how you get filthy, stinking rich. You create a problem. You create the problem so that you can sell the solution. You create the problem so you can sell the solution. That's the only way to worldly wealth that transcends. Look at the healthcare crisis in America. They are not incentivized because all you'd have to do is eat right food combinations and, and learn some self-discipline techniques and the weight would be gone. But our healthcare system would crash. They don't want you to get healthy. They don't want you to live with energy and excitement and vitality. They want to keep you sick, broke, afraid. That's what they want to do. Let me tell you about true wealth, though. Now I'm going to tell you about true wealth. True wealth. And it's simple. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. And this has to do with our lesson. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, not your own righteousness, his righteousness. And all these other things will be added unto you. Now, let's take Lynn, for example. I didn't know she'd be here, but I'm going to talk about my sister who God put in my path, ordered my steps for me to meet her at the right time in my life, and Sasha to meet her. She and We were beat down, and Lynn come along, put us to work. We ought to be more beat down. She's worked our tails off, but she injected in us love and joy and peace and excitement that we hadn't had in a long time because she was seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, goodness, meekness, temperance, faith. When we pursue those things, we get everything else that we want. True rich, being truly wealthy is being rich in wisdom and being rich in the faith. Knowing that your father owns the cattle of a thousand hills and it's all yours. Chasing souls, becoming fishermen of men and women. That's the true calling. We're all here to become fishermen of men and women, every one of us here. And God has allowed us, our souls here, our souls to have a situation because of our weakness where he wants to use us, his strength to overcome these obesity issues so that we might stand tall on the mountaintop and say, blessed be the name of the Lord. Let me show y'all how to fish too. We're to live by example. The church of the living God ought not be the saddest most unhealthy, broke people on the planet or on, in America. We don't understand broke until we go to Afghanistan or somewhere like that. But for us to be in America and be the most whiny, complainy, can't do nothing, helpless, hopeless, hapless, is not right. That is not going to draw anybody in to the kingdom. Now, that has a lot to do with the lesson that I'm going to do my best to teach and preach today about, I sent this, I'm going to let the girls talk for a minute, but I sent this, and it said, if you're trying to chase weight loss, it can actually impede your ability to lose weight. When we chase weight loss, it runs from us. Does anybody know what I mean? 
It's like the harder you chase it, the harder you try, the further away it gets from you. So we're going to talk about that shortly. A few questions over here. Tammy, can you let me know products for August the 1st challenge? Time for me to order products. Patricia, um, I'm going to send some detox alternatives. We're starting that challenge on the full moon. August the 1st is the full moon. I like to do things that are circadian rhythm based. So we're gonna we're gonna start on August the first. I'm pulling it together now. All of the edible products we'll be talking about, none will be required. Uh, but I'm also pulling together some detox information for those that want to do the detox part with us, and uh, we'll get that out to you as soon as we can, Miss Patricia. Nova says the harder I try, the more I get railroaded. Leah says, I need more void replacement training. I found they are tempting me. I need to get some strength. Yep, we, we got void replacement after void replacement. All right. Sasha, tell me anything you want to say before I take off on my lesson. No, I was just going to ask about Lynn's void replacement. I mean, there's... there's Talk to us, Lynn. Literally anything... I think we could find something for you. So what are what are what is it you're craving? Is it salty chips or chips kind of stuff? Is it sweetness? Tell tell us what you gotta you have the replacement. So well good. Well so oh the void are the void replacements tempting you? <laughs> is that what it is? I did have um Chris when she was in here, she said I I I did great. I did. I followed. I did. I had the program foods. I what I, I eat according to the program. But when I'm having a holiday, I just my portions are my portions go over and I have that problem, too. So, yeah, they are good. Need to know when to use them. <laughs> well, you're there. They're um, they're not, you know, that you have to follow the, the program. So depend on what your depend on what it is. I mean, they are, there's void replacements, everything from um you know freebies to extras to snacks to meals so you have to make sure that you stay in your proper portion when you're using them but it's um depending on what it is you know there's some void replacements like um for the reese's cup for example that we have those fantastic little chocolates and you can have three packs of those i'll have to snag some but they are they're two little reese's cup two little peanut butter cups in each pack and you can have three packs of those so you can have six six of those for your snack six little peanut butter cups peanut butter patties and they have chocolate caramel they have pecan like little turtles they have chocolate nougat they have peanut nougat they have all kinds of flavors now and um, they are really good and if you just had one pack it counts it's it's only 30 calories per pack so there i think travis said those are an extra if you have maybe just one of the packs of those at some point you've got extra and then you've got snack and then um so you know those are a great a great example of even spreading your snack out a little bit if you didn't want to have all six of those little cups at the same time it's a great um void replacement for that sweet that sweet tooth um to have you know i I may be wrong about this because I'm I've been in maintenance for a while, but to have throughout the day. <laughs> so for me, it's like I need just a little touch here and there. And I give them some practical information that they cannot escape. Please. And we may, may not get to the lesson. Uh -oh. Everyone has access to a sheet of paper and a pen. Would you pull it out, please? I'm going to give you the plan to lose as much weight as you want, as fast as you want to lose it within reason. You got your pen and paper out. You ain't gonna like what I've got to say. You won't, you won't like it, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. Now, one day you'll come back to me and say, darn it, you were right. I've, I've searched the world over and thought I found true love. You met another and you were gone. Looking for love in all the wrong places. You will keep chasing these dreams. You will keep chasing these fascinations with other things and other programs. You're always going to come right back around to biology. <laughs> okay. There's everything that you hear 
outside of what I'm about to say is just marketing. There's only one way to lose weight. And look, here's how fast you can lose it. We did this yesterday at about four o'clock with a group. Here's how you lose it. I'm going to log in. Let me get logged in. I'm going to take you through some steps. Every day, every day, and I love it. I love you. I love you unconditionally. But I get message and email after email from the same people that I've told the same thing to. They're still looking for some mysterious way to lose weight. A person who chases two rabbits catches none. Okay, so you, you've got to have one plan that you're willing to stick with. And we're going to start right here. So we're answering all the questions, all the concerns, whether you believe it or not. Here's the, here's the answer. So I'm going to go to weight loss calculator. Simple. See my current weight? Somebody that doesn't mind giving me their current weight. What is your current weight? You know your current weight and your goal weight. I'm going to give you facts again today that you cannot escape. All I can do with the facts, Stacy's 179, and what's your goal weight, Stacy? All I can do is make the journey more fun. Okay, her goal weight is 150. And then I click count. It says she can lose 29 pounds in only 58 days. Write that down. Is that good, y'all? If she can lose 29 pounds in 58 days, is that good? Let's look at Lynn Gilbert's. 260 pounds. 160. She wants to be 160. She can lose 100 pounds in 130 days. Is that worth it or not? Now, Here's the thing, you can do regular Shibboleth. Is everybody listening? Come back to me. Come back, beloved. Unconditional love for you. Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay, stay with me. So in other words, if this person did the, did the, the rightest, tightest version of Shibboleth that I'm about to give you, I'm about to give you the version that would help her Lose 100 pounds in 130 days. If you do regular Shibboleth without this version I'm about to give you, you have to double that. But listen, is losing 100 pounds in 260 days, is that good? That's worst case scenario. Version one, no holidays. Probably not possible. Version two, you can have six holidays a month. Is that doable? Is that doable? Is that exciting? Does that get you fired up? There's nothing that will impact your life like losing, losing weight. Nothing. You can make all the money in the world. But if you don't feel good about your physical temple, it's not a, in alignment with who your authentic self is, you will always be miserable. You must get the physical body in alignment with your highest and best self. When you looked in the mirror this morning, did you see a reflection of who you are on the inside? Let's preach. Did you see in that mirror the person that aligns with who you know you are on the inside. Now you've been, you have been lathering up with the devil long enough. I said it right. You have been lathering up with the serpent long enough. You have given yourself over to food. The Bible says, that all things, are, we have uh, freedom in all things. We have liberty in all things. You can have Mexican chips and cheese dip. You can have bread pudding. You can have 
amazing amounts of food and enjoy it from time to time. But you are not to be enslaved by anything for you are a child of the most high God. You are not to be enslaved by worry, regret, shame, guilt, judgment, food, alcohol, drugs, porn, sex, or any of that. You are not to be enslaved by it. You are to enjoy it as God gives you unction, but do not be enslaved by it. We have been lathering up with the serpent for way too long as though we have no power. Listening to that liar. Oh, you're missing out. You're going to miss out. It ain't fair that you can't have that while they're having that. You're missing out. He's a liar and the truth is not in him. Now, here's the thing. Unconditional love for you. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Y'all understand? I'm mad at the devil. Every day. If, if all the energy that people spend in worrying, why is this going to work for me? If they just do it. Now, listen. Whether you want to hear it or not, if you don't like it, I feel sorry for you. You're going to leave and you, you, you're going to hear the truth. It's going to piss you off. That's what the truth does. The truth will set you free, but it will piss you off at first. And do not send me an email today saying I shouldn't have said the word piss. Piss is in the Bible. We're, we should be adults here. And that's what some of us are doing. We're acting like that guy in the Bible who was peeing against the wall and it was splattering back on him. You're sitting there watching Yellowstone and watching, uh, what's his name? I get emails about me saying silly things like pisseth. And I get emails about how I'm a bad Christian. Somebody actually stopped their $5 contribution <laughs> because I said a, a tiny little wordy dirt. Okay. But yet you'll watch Yellowstone and watch Rip kill somebody. <laughs> anyway, let me keep going. Let me keep going because I'm going to give you. Whether you like it or not, what I'm going to tell you today is the truth, and it would work for every single person here. The numbers that I just gave you, the numbers that I just gave you, either way, best case or worst case scenario, would that be fast fat loss? Would that be fast? I mean, it's very fast, isn't it, Lisa? It's, I mean, goodness gracious, can you imagine just getting into it and enjoying it? At, when I sent out the text, it said, if you chase weight loss, it'll run away from you. If you would do what I'm about to share with you, but not focus on it, see if that makes sense. If you would do what I'm about to share, but not focus on it, but yet focus on the kingdom of God. Focus on love and joy and peace. If you did that, gratitude, if, if you did that and just put your head down, quit worrying about what the scales say and just follow the plan that I'm about to give you, boom, it's like you would wake up tomorrow and be at your happy weight. Time would go by so fast. But when every day you're not enjoying the process and you get on the scales and you're hoping that they go down by three pounds and they're down by two tenths of a pound. <laughs> Time goes by so slow. You'll never stick to it. It's going by so slow because you're in pain. You put yourself in a mental place of mental anguish and pain. I don't want to do this, but I got to. Ah, when am I going to reach my goal weight? And then you quit when all you would have to do is the following. If everybody get ready to write, I'm going to give you the plan. Somebody will come back in six months and say, I did it and it worked. Some people think I got Beelzebub in me, Lynn. <laughs> all right. Oh, let me get back. Sorry. Where did it go? How did that happen? All right. 
whiteboard, need my whiteboard. Why do I keep losing my whiteboard? Okay, oh, need my eraser. All right, here we go. Are y'all ready? I'm going to break it down for you. Write it down now. This is your plan. This is your plan. I need you to choose in a 24-hour period, I need you to choose either a 12-hour period or a 16-hour period whereby you don't eat anything that has calories in it. You could have water, you could have unsweet tea, you could have some spark, you could have some sustain, but for 12 or 16 hours, you don't consume anything in a 24-hour period. Choose that time. Obviously, the 16-hour one is best, but we'll, we'll go with either. Now, I'm going to simplify the program for you, okay? Whatever your ideal weight is, multiply that times eight. Who wants to do that? I just need one person. Your ideal weight, what is your goal weight? And then we're going to go times eight for the weight loss phase. Patricia, we're going to use somebody different. See, it's just because yours is so low. So we don't get, we're looking more for the average. So Deborah's more the average. 150. So she wants to be 150 pounds. You take your number and multiply that number times eight. That ends up being here 1,200 calories. Are y'all with me? Now, once you reach this weight, sis, once you reach this weight, you do 150 times 10 to maintain. We're talking Shibboleth approved foods, Shibboleth approved calories. Are y'all with me still? If you ever want to put on weight, you take the weight that you want to be. Let's say that you want to put on 10 pounds of muscle. So you're working out and you want to be 160. It's 160 times 12. So when we're looking at calories, before we start looking at insulin control, we have to look at the calories. A calorie deficit, we lose weight. A calorie surplus, we gain weight. Now, when we get into the insulin, that's how we lose not just weight, but we lose fat. So you're selecting 12 or 16 hours, and that would give you over here, you would have 12 hours in a day to eat your food, and over here, you would have eight hours to eat your food. Okay, that's step one. And you, you make a decision. What do I, Travis, what do I do? What do I do if I, if I get hungry? You don't eat. But Travis, uh, you know, those diets that say I'll, I'll be in a calorie deficit and I'll never be hungry, they're lying. The, the big, the, the part of you, when I was 300 pounds and I wanted to be 200 pounds, I had, I had to eat like a 200 pound person. So there was a part of me that was literally being starved off. The 200 pound man, the authentic self inside of me was not starving. He was being adequately fed. Are y'all with me on that point? He was being adequately fed and taken care of. I was eating highly nutritious food, Shibboleth approved food. I was controlling my insulin. I was taking care of my authentic self. But over the years, I ended up over 300 pounds. That 100 extra pounds was not my authentic self. He had to go. And there were days that he kicked and he screamed and he pitched a fit. 
And I had to say, no. I had to say, I'm the parent. My flesh is weak. You're my flesh. My spirit man is strong. No. It is not time to eat. I will not eat until it's time to eat, and then I'll eat what I'm supposed to eat. And by the way, what I'm supposed to eat is good. In flesh, you'll enjoy it just as much as my spirit enjoys it. Uh, look, every time you have eaten a Shibboleth-approved meal, every single time that you have finished a perfect day, you felt better, didn't you? Not just your spirit, but your flesh. So it's a win-win. Your spirit and your flesh felt better doing the right thing. But when you gratify the flesh, your spirit doesn't feel good, does it? Your spirit feels depressed. And your flesh feels sick. We have to make a decision. We can't waffle every day. We can't find ways to talk ourselves, to rationalize and talk ourselves out of a blessing. We lose sight of our vision. We lose sight of our vision. Esau did it. Esau said, what good will my birthright do if I die out here? So yes, Jacob, I will sell you my birthright for a cup of beans. Can y'all stop? While I, I'm going to give you the nutrition that I, that I was talking about to get you to your goal fast, but can y'all do something with me right now? Can you visualize? Can you visualize what your authentic self, how wonderful, amazing, beautiful, confident she is? Are you fighting for her today? Are you fighting for her? How in the world does a handful of chips compare to the vision of your high self? We're selling our birthright over some Doritos? We're selling our birthright for some white bread? Are you kidding me? I'll tell you what's going on. I'll tell you what's going on. I love it when I say things twice to buy myself time. All right, listen, Romans 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind and by, the, by testing, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good, what is acceptable, and what is perfect. 1 John 2.15, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Colossians 3.2, set your minds on things that are above, not on the things that are of the earth. When all we think about is food, 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 we're no different than the person that's thinking about drugs and thievery and, and all kinds of other nonsense. We are enslaved by it. We are using it as a false God. If we will seek the kingdom of God, where is the kingdom of God? It's in here where your high self is, your true self, your authentic self. You should every day, I'm going to get back to the nutrition, Every day, here's here. You think that you can't. I thought that I couldn't, and I'm starting again because my flesh is weak, and I I fell down, and I'm getting back up, and and I'm living my best life again. Listen, listen to this. Every moment of every day, you should be making decisions that excite you, that make you happy that give you pleasure? How many of you are having very little excitement and pleasure in your life? So much so that you look forward to the one vacation you're going to get a year. Rather than jumping out of bed 
and being excited and living your excitement. But Travis, I, food excites me. Then I can't help you. It don't excite me. It's instant gratification. What excites me is God has supplied me the, the, the food and sustenance I need so that I can go do something that excites me. I have found other things that excite me. And I'm working hard to enjoy those things more. Food, been there, done that. Food, been there, done that. I don't need it. I don't need it. God blesses me. You're never going to see his seed begging bread. So I, it's going to be there, but it's just a tool. It's not my pleasure. I've got other pleasures. Now, let's say that you picked out a 12-hour fast, okay? You picked out a 12-hour fast, so you have a 12-hour eating window, and you've got to keep your calories below your authentic self times eight. Is that making sense to everybody now that we're getting back to it? You've got a 12-hour eating window, and you're not going to, in that 12-hour eating window, you're not going to consume more calories than your authentic self times eight. Can I get a thumbs up on that one? Now, here's the first thing you do without exception. If you have to get up earlier, get up earlier. You get out the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. You get out the word of God. And you do it your way or you can do it my way. Lord, help me to discern the word spiritually and not literally, for it was spiritually written and it must be spiritually discerned. I'm going to open it up. Please order my steps to what you want me to read today. Then you read it and you pray. Attitude of gratitude. Help me to walk in a spirit of confidence and boldness, not confidence in myself, but confidence in you, oh God. Help me today to not be enslaved by any of my vices and not gluttony. Help me to be aware of my thoughts, my words. Right now, if, if you're not seeing what you want to see in your life, if you're not seeing what you want to see in the mirror, what I'm about to say is radical. If you're not seeing what you want to see in the mirror and in and around you with your family, with your spouse, it's because of your words. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. I can see it in my life. The good things I spoke into existence in Jesus' name. The bad things, I wasn't in faith and I spoke and said stupid stuff. This is how reality works. This is how the universe works. This is how it's always worked. As a man or woman thinketh in their heart, so it is out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. We are being hung by our own tongue. When we say we're sick, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. When we say we're broke, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. When we're saying we don't, we're alone and we don't have love, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You actually are getting what you want. You're getting what you want. If you're overweight today, it's because you, have, you have preferred to be overweight. If you are broke, it's because you have preferred to be broke. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Your soul and your spirit may be in a place where you want to have that experience and you don't even realize that. Maybe your spirit, there's something about feeling, you want to feel what it feels like to feel unworthy for a season. You want to feel like what it feels like to be broke for a season. You think, no, I don't. Yes, you do. 
You prefer to be where you're at or you would do something different. You have to look at what motivates you, okay? So if you are if you want to lose weight, but you keep making bad decisions, there's something about making bad decisions that motivates you more than making good eating decisions. And it's probably because in your mind that it's more painful to give up and sacrifice a Reese cup than it is to pursue your highest and best self. You feel like you're going to give up too much. So therefore you prefer to keep doing what you've been doing. You prefer to have the instant gratification because maybe you don't feel like you deserve success. I don't know, but you're, you're preferring to be where you're at. You prefer it. I'm sorry to, to hurt your feelings, but you prefer it. And nobody can help you until you decide, physician, heal thyself. You're being given a plan. I can show you right now. You be, you're being given a plan that would work for you just like I say that it will work. And if you don't do it, it's simply because you don't prefer it. You're powerful beyond measure. Would you stop playing weak? You are not weak. You are not a victim of your circumstances. You are powerful beyond measure. Powerful beyond belief. How do I use my power, Travis? How do I express my power? Out the mouth. I am. I am going to do it. You don't believe me? Hide and watch me. I am going to be healthy and well and successful and prosperous. I am. And then you don't go looking for evidence all the time. Because if you're looking for evidence all the time, you're not in faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If you want to, if you want to manifest or become a healthier, leaner person, you start speaking it. You start speaking right. And even if it's not in your heart yet, I promise you by physically speaking the words, it will soon be in your heart too. You cannot speak it without some good things happening. Speak it. I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to have those chips anymore. I'm not going to graze all day. I'm not going to do it. So you start with that word. Then. Simple, the simple ones, you drink your water. You've got to stay hydrated. Here he goes again, talking that same stuff. You drink your water. You journal. You know how you change being hung by your own tongue? You write in your journal powerful words about yourself, your victory, about your love of people, your love of Christ. Well, I'm not doing all that. That's because you don't prefer it. You prefer being overweight. And that's fine. Enjoy it. Enjoy eating. Stop straddling the fence. You don't prefer to do this work over here. You don't prefer it. So what? Love yourself. Give yourself unconditional love and keep eating the chimichanga. But don't be down about it. In fact, those that aren't going to do the work, you're getting down on yourself for not doing the work and you're taking away from the enjoyment of your triple portions that you're having at the Mexican restaurant because you're beating yourself up over it. What good sense does that make? If you know you're going to do it anyway, just enjoy it. No matter what you do, you're going to have to give up something. If I follow my program, I'm giving up something. Let's see what I'm giving up. I'm giving up too much liquor. I'm giving up uh, I'm giving up dessert every day. I can only have it a few days a month. I'm giving up white pasta, white rice, white bread. 
uh, I'm giving up cake. I can have them 12 days a month because I'm in maintenance, but I want them 30 days, okay? So I'm giving up some stuff to do my program. I'm also giving up joint pain. I'm giving up cognitive disorders and depression. I'm giving up sleep apnea. I'm giving up high blood pressure, acid reflux, diabetes. I'm giving all that up by doing my program. No matter what you do, you're going to have to give up something. You're not in heaven yet. Not the third heaven. Next, you eat the right combinations. You eat the right combinations to control insulin. If you do not control growth hormone, you cannot efficiently lose fat. It's not going to, you, you won't ever lose it. You'll lose water weight and waste, and it'll be up and down and up and down and fluctuating, but you won't be flaking off the hunk of chunk every day. If you follow what I'm telling you, you'll flake off the hunk of chunk every day. Quit getting on, quit worrying about the scales. Hunk chunks got to go. I was a hunk of chunk for too long. I don't want to be a hunk of Bernie Love. I want to be lean Bernie Love. Hunk chunks got to go. Stuff jiggles, it itches, it smells bad. On me, not you, not you. I'm talking about when I was overweight, having to put on baby powder on myself. Not, I'm sorry, I'm being honest. Maybe this is why we've been shadow banned. But I had to put the talcum powder on me. You may not ever have to do that, but I was a big boy. Combinations control insulin. So it, remember that chart, how fast you could lose weight? Remember that one, how fast I can lose it? If I stick with the following, I can lose it fast. No holidays. And I have red column combinations or negative two, negative three meal replacements. If I'm okay with losing it slower, like the second illustration I gave you, I can do the red, the yellow, or the blue combinations. So all combinations, everything's approved, that's, or everything's allowed for this particular path. No grazing. And I can have my holidays, six holidays a month. So here, no holidays, red column, negative two, negative three meal replacements. I get there so fast, people will think I'm on something. Red, yellow, or blue combination, six holidays a month. I'll get there slower, but I'll get there fast. Portions. I eat up to three proper portions per day. And that's it. I say no to myself. People nowadays can't say no to themselves. You can, you don't want to because you don't prefer it. You're powerful. I want you to start saying, change your speech. Don't say, I don't want to be overweight. How many of you know I'm telling the truth, even if you're mad right now? Don't say, I don't want to be overweight. That's a lie. Say, I prefer it. I prefer being overweight. I'm powerful and I prefer it. There's nobody here that can truthfully say, I don't want to be overweight and to no fault of my own, I am. You say, I don't want to be overweight anymore and I prefer to be lean. But if you're overweight and you're saying that I can't seem to lose weight, you're not telling the truth. You just don't prefer it. So my portions, I'm going to at times want to graze. I'm going to at times want something other than my three eating episodes. 
But if I prefer lean and healthy, I can't have it. Why do we have void replacements? My void replacements are one of my eating episodes. So if I want a void replacement for a Reese cup, it's an eating episode for me. I ate something, it counts as an episode. I'm not a cow. I shouldn't be grazing all day. I eat my breakfast, I eat my lunch. Let's say that I didn't eat enough for breakfast. Let's say that at seven o'clock in the morning, I didn't eat enough for breakfast and I'm not supposed to eat again until noontime. My timer on my phone has yet to expire. It's not time to eat. And I get hungry at 10.30 a.m. So in, one hour, in an hour and a half, I'm going to get to eat. Why would you not just say no? No, I can have something in an hour and a half. I didn't eat enough for breakfast. I'm not satisfied. I'm not going to graze. I'm going to wait an hour and a half. It's not going to kill me. There's people that have to wait all week to get one meal. You can't wait an hour and a half. So you open the drawer and you go, oh, I need a snacky. Like we're, at, we're acting like children. I need my snacky now. When we were children, we thought like children, but now that we're adults, we think like adults and we behave like adults and I prefer to be lean and healthy, so I can't prefer an in-between snack. If I want the snack, I'll have it for lunch. Now, we have a program that we have some stuff built in for you to help you. So if, if you're having a moment of mental weakness, you've had your three eating episodes, yeah, you can have that snack, but it's from mental weakness and it's going to slow you down. Do you prefer to be slowed down? Ask yourself that way next time. Do I prefer to see my weight loss slow down? If the answer is no, if your highest and best self says, no, I don't prefer it, then you better only be eating three or less eating episodes in a 24-hour period that control insulin. And y'all, this is it. If you want to go the fastest route, you have to include your steps, 10 to 15,000. Somebody said the other day, that takes so long. Well, so does sitting down and watching Netflix. You can waste an hour on Netflix like that, but going out and walking your 10 to 15,000 steps just takes so long, Brother Travis. What else have you got to do? Do you prefer to be lean and healthy and fit? How bad do you want it? Every step, if you're following what I just laid out, every step you take is hunk of chunk coming off your rear end. Somebody ought to shout. Don't get mad. Shout. Woo! One more thing. You need to take your supplements. You go take whatever you want to take. The reason I've been more spunky lately, I'm taking my peak performance. So fill in all of your nutri nutrient deficiencies so that you feel better, so that you metabolize more fat when you're in a calorie deficit, so that you're less depressed, so that you're taking care of the second brain, which is the gut. This is a recipe for success that works for everybody. But every one of us comes in contact every day with the children of Israel who are like, oh, Lord, I'm going to shut up now. But oh, Lord, oh, Lord, look at Goliath. We are scared of Goliath. The Bible said that their knees was knocking together. That's what we do. What if I can't lose weight? What if it don't work for me? We do that. We, we are surrounded by that kind of negativity every single day. It's no wonder we're afraid. But here come little David. And David said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that defies the armies of Israel? They, they tried to put armor on him. They tried to put a pill in his mouth. 
They try to put a shot in his rear end to lose weight. They try to put a wrap around his belly. They put armor on him. He said, I ain't proved this armor. I didn't need this when I killed the bear, when I killed the lion. Get this off of me. All we need here today is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and a willing and wanting heart, and we can lose the weight. That's all we need. And to be like David and say, let me go down to the brook and get me some smooth stones. He popped that. He put that giant out, boy. You can slay obesity today. Now watch. Here's what some of, ooh, I'm going to give you this before I go. Can I give you one more thing before I go? This comes straight from the Lord. I believe that with all my heart because I wouldn't have thought like this. Can I give you this one? Let me give you this one. Look at here. So David got that stone. How many of y'all started the program and done well, but something happens to you and you relapse? Ooh, this is good, y'all. This is good. Give it to me, Holy Ghost. How many of you have done that over and over and over? Oh, this is good. Thank you, Lord. Some of y'all don't believe in stuff like this, do you? Right now, I'm getting a message from the Holy Ghost. Some of y'all don't believe. I know it's from the Holy Ghost. You ready? So he took that thing. That smooth stone hit that giant in the forehead and knocked him out. A lot of people think it killed him. I don't. Knocked him out. Think about that. But David did something to make sure that that Goliath giant was dead. Anybody remember what he did? Whoop! He ran. He jumped on him, took out his own sword, cut his head off. He made sure that Goliath was done, that he could never wreak havoc on the children of Israel again. Cut his head off and then probably held it up like this and scared the rest of the Philistines off. Woo! Let me tell you what you're going to have to do. We were talking about that higher self, that authentic self. If you don't want to relapse, you're going to have to cut the head off of that old Jew. You're going to have to let that, that you're going to have to become a new creature as it relates to your food and how you live your life. You can't straddle the fence. You can't have one foot in your old lifestyle and one foot in this lifestyle. Too many times, that's what we've done. We've not sold out. Yeah, we have a good run. Hit that giant. We have a good little run for a couple of months but we didn't cut the head off that thing. And we didn't say, that's no more me. I'm a new person. I don't think like I used to think. I don't act like I used to act. I don't talk like I used to talk. I don't think about food like that no more. And every day I follow my Shibola shield. I journal. I do what I'm supposed to do without exception. That old me is gone. I'm done. I think that's all the Lord wanted me to say. <laughs> Anybody got anything they want to share before we go today? Now, I know that plan that we laid out seems very simple, but it works better than pharmaceuticals. It works better than anything that I've ever done, and it will continue to. You're not going to find a pill. You're not going to find a potion. You're not going to find anything. These shots are not going to help. They're going to help end your life sooner. What, what works is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, a spiritual, in my opinion, a spiritual interpretation of his teachings and us applying them and doing our best to imitate him every day. And I, I fall short every single day. But I, I try in my own weak way to imitate him in my relationships with people outside of class.
if you pursue weight loss or money or any of those things, it will flee from you. But if you pursue love and joy and peace, unconditional love for yourself and for others, all the other things that we desire will manifest. Thank you, Brian. Thank you for pouring into us too. We love you. Hey, Tammy, you got something you want to say? All right. I think that we should pray. I, I'm all for prayer. I want to pray for everyone because I, I feel it. I feel fear. I feel need. I feel desperation. I just feel a lot of stuff that maybe the Holy Spirit has shared with me right now that um, somebody out there needs this prayer. They need this blessing. So I'd love to pray for everyone. Absolutely. Anybody got any prayer requests before Tammy prays? Where two or three are gathered together in his name, he'll be in the midst. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous person availeth much. Anybody got any prayer requests? And you know, if y'all don't speak your prayer requests, God knows them. He knows your heart. He knows your mind. You don't have to say a word. Tammy, I turn it over to you anytime okay. you're Dear sweet Heavenly Lord, I love you and I thank you for this day. And I thank you for our sweet friends and family that we get to come together, Lord. I know that we're not blood family, but through Jesus' blood, we are. And I just thank you for the commonalities that you give us, Lord. I just thank you for the time we always have to share together, Lord, for the time that people are able to set aside for this class, Lord, and to hear your word, even though it may not been had may not have been expected, Lord, they needed it. And thank you for allowing Travis to hear when the Holy Spirit speaks to him and let him give that message that needs to be given to the people that need to hear it. Lord, when we seek you earnestly and we pray earnestly and we ask for help earnestly, we can hear you. We can hear the answers that you have for us, Lord. I just pray for those that have fear right now that you are in control of everything, Lord. Let them feel your comforting arms wrapped around them. Let them know they are not alone in anything, Lord, that you are walking side by side. You're holding their hand. And Lord, when they need you to, you are carrying them. They are never alone. Sometimes we feel lonely. Sometimes we think that we need to fill our mouths and our bellies with food, and then we feel even more miserable. But Lord, in those times, sometimes we just need to seek your face, your voice, and just know that you're there and feel your presence. Lord, I ask that whatever's bothering people today, Lord, whatever they're facing, that you just guide them and let them hear your voice as to what they need to do with those decisions, Lord. Let their decisions be based on how you guide them. Lord, let them know that food cannot control us. When we feel the urge that we need to eat something or that we're craving something, Lord, all we have to do is say your name and Satan will flee. If you don't know what prayer to say, just say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. When we say Jesus' name, those demons have to flee. I just ask that you go with everyone today, Lord. Let them feel loved. Let them know that we love them. You love them. They have support. They have your support always, Lord. And they have us. We love them more than they will ever know. We want the best for them more than they will ever know, Lord. We know that you will not give up on us, Lord. And we should not give up on ourselves. Allow us to be able to reach out to others for support when we do feel weak. Let us turn to your word and let us turn to prayer when we feel weak. Thank you so much, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us and for suffering to give us better things, Lord. Let us remember those things when we are tempted to do poorly for ourselves, Lord. We are the temple of God. We are to treat our bodies as it is holy because it is. We carry you inside of us to share you with others. Lord, if we're being a poor example for others, how are they going to learn to come to you? How are they going to know the gifts that you have for them? Lord, help us to get to our places in our lives where we need to be so we can reap those blessings that you have for us, those sweet and special gifts that you have for us. Lord, open our eyes, 
open our minds and open our hearts to love and see others as you do. Thank you so much, Lord. I love you and I ask all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. I got I got to wipe my little um, Italian mascara off. My tears were falling. I love y'all. Love you, Tammy. That was sweet. Thank you. Cheryl said, did you hear Lisa Marie Presley die from bariatric complications? I didn't. I didn't know that. That's very sad. Hate to hear that. All right. Any questions before we go? Thank you so much, Tammy. Anybody before we go? By the way, if you are uh, one of the wellness company folks, we're getting ready to help the next group get to director status. If this is the time in your life that you want me to help you get to director status, please make sure you email me so I can make sure that we get in a strategic session together. Those of you that hadn't joined the wellness company yet, please reach out to us and uh, let's get you involved in that. That's an amazing, uh, amazing company. and They've got some amazing products that can help you on your journey. No questions, no comments, and we'll just be at liberty to go. We appreciate you all, and until next time, and it will be soon. There'll be a next time soon. <laughs> Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. God bless.